Hello there, it's John again from Antique Watch Company with another short product video. This time I've picked one of my personal favourite earlier pieces from our current stock. Now this is a very early piece, it's probably the earliest Amiga watch we have in stock. This is a 1934 stainless steel, very Art Deco influenced manual wind wrist watch. I say 1934 model 7 CK785. Reason this is one of my favourite watches because what's unusual about the dial is it's it's an enamelled dial, so it's not a it's not painted on uh, on metal. It's actually a a firing process, so enamelling or porcelain type process to produce the dial. Hence, you get this this brilliant white effect, um, which doesn't discolour with age. And you've got this really unusual oh, sort of baton Aaron arrowhead markers with luminous hands. Let's see if I can get a, a close up there. Really unusual design. I mean, pretty pretty out there for for Amiga in the 1930s, but you can definitely see the the Art Deco influence. So this is a fully manual wind watch. It's a caliber 26.5. Not a massive watch, this is a 31, maybe 32 millimeter diameter, but you do have a bit more length in the case. I have actually wore this for a for a good week prior to listing it on the website and really did enjoy it. It's just, just something about the design, it's almost tonneau, and the, the dial just the dial's so striking. Quite an unusual and detailed sub-second subsidiary dial. Yeah, really impressive piece. We've paired this on a period sprung-loaded stainless steel Swiss bracelet. I just felt with this straight end, straight end lug, a, a, a stainless steel bracelet would really set it off nicely. You can have a leather. You've got an option on a few, few leather straps as well. But um, definitely, it can be, it could be taken off or on the bracelet, whichever you prefer. But it is a really good quality bracelet. Do not, do not discount that. So the watch comes fully serviced, like all our watches. And yeah, so this is probably one of the more unusual pieces in stock. Um, with a watch from 1934, we are advising that it's not really an everyday piece. It's a watch you want to enjoy, add to your collection, use it occasionally. Um, these watches are obviously before, um, really before serious waterproofing and anti-magnetism was introduced. So you've just got to, somebody's looked after this for this amount of time and it's now your turn if you purchase it to look after it yourself. Um, you get your initial 12 month service cover but definitely no swimming and no shower in this watch. And a little bit of advice on generally on watches um, pre-1950s. Um, try to avoid your electronic gadgets, your your laptops, your phones, ideally they, they they need to be kept away from any magnetic fields, strong magnetic fields, um, mainly mainly phones, speakers, um, stereo system, stuff like that. Um, it's just helpful for the, for the watch and it'll, uh, it will um, treat you better and last longer if you look after it and uh, listen to our advice. So that's that watch is available now, um, looking for a home. Um, so quite a special piece feel free to ask us some questions and um, yeah we'll be sad to see that one go but they all have to go to a new home eventually so if you're interested in that drop us a message